Yep, it was raining yesterday. I'm on my first break right now. And uh, decided to, you know, just record some more video. <laughs> but um, um, I guess a lot of uh, different online blogs were able to interview uh, Steve Ballmer of Microsoft, and they were talking about the pricing of Microsoft Surface. I think the big rumor that uh, came out about Microsoft Surface selling for either $200 or $300, I think at one time Microsoft was considering that. But it will piss off a lot of OEMs because Microsoft will make their money. Um, if you buy a Windows 8 app and you have like an app in the App Store and you're charging like, I don't know, let's say you're charging 30 bucks, Microsoft will make a percentage on that um, on your app. And uh, so if they sell the tablet at cost, you know, at cost to them, let's say the tablet costs them $249 and they sell it for like $289, they're, gonna, they're not going to make any profit or not much, you know, not really. You know, you want to make twice as much. If the tablet costs you $249 to build, you want to sell it for 500 you know. But um, a lot of OEMs, that's all they do is hardware. They, Lenovo, Dell, you know, um, uh, <laughs> I can't take them all right now. But um, so the problem is, is that OEMs won't uh, be able to compete with that because they need to make profit in order to, you know, grow as a business. And to tell you the truth, the percentage you want to sell things at is that 250% and 300% of cost. And so, uh, selling the Windows RT tablet for $400, $500, $600 uh, may be more likely. Just like how the iPad is uh, $400, $500, $600, $800. You know, the cost is pretty high as compared to um, what Nexus is. Now, Believe it or not, there are a lot of OEMs that are really mad at Google for the Nexus 7, though the Nexus 7 is made by Asus. But um, they're selling the Nexus 7 pretty much at cost because Google knows that they make money on Google Play, people buy music on Google Play, people buy apps on Google Play. So they're going to make that money eventually, and they're probably sharing some of that profit with Asus, who is the actual manufacturer of the tablet. But um, Microsoft <laughs> may not want to do that because they have a good, they do have a good partnership with a lot of um, third-party uh, OEMs out there, and it will behoove them to sell it at the same price as most OEMs sell it for. So it's not a good idea. It will piss a lot of people off. And Microsoft needs that competition uh, with other OEMs in order to stay on top of things. Apple makes their own products, and they don't allow anybody else to make Apple products. So Apple's going to do what they're going to do, and they're not going to change. At one time they did for like a year or two. Uh, it was at one point where other companies were able to make Apple products, but they stopped. They nipped that in the bud real quick. Because Apple said that we're the only ones that we know that can make outstanding Apple products. And they took that away, and they remained the sole uh, manufacturers of their own products. Microsoft is doesn't seem to, seem to be going that way. I It could change, okay? It could come to a point where Microsoft says no more. We're going to make our own products, and no one else can. We're going to take on the Apple model. Hey, I could be wrong. They may do that, but I don't think they will. I think they will. Uh, go ahead and uh, sell their product at the same cost as other products of this type. 
Um, now, here's one thing. The reason why Microsoft should not sell it for $200, because it's not a 7-inch tablet. Now, if Microsoft made a 7-inch Windows 8 RT tablet, then I can see the price being $200. I can see that. $200 is a great price for a 7-inch or like a mini Windows 8 RT tablet. Sell it for $200. It can have a slightly slower processor, maybe with 8 gigs of RAM or something like that, and just something that someone can just drop in their back pocket 7 inches wide, and they can take it with them with a uh, 720p screen, uh, resolution uh, screen and uh, pure black and all that great stuff. And if there are rumors that Nokia is going to get into the tablet market. I hope they do because that will increase the competition because Nokia, in my opinion, makes a better phone um, than any Windows Phone 8 out there today. Samsung a TS looks good, but nothing as close to what Nokia Lumia. Nokia Lumia looks gorgeous. Um, and other phone manufacturers of Windows Phone 8 doesn't really come close to that. Mm. Um, so if they get into the tablet market, I think it will um, kick a little butt into the other OEMs to make better products. And because that's what Microsoft Surface did. Microsoft Surface is like the flagship of all Windows 8 tablets. And whether it's the Windows 8 RT, which is the standard uh, it's not going to be a full computer. It's, it's just a tablet, basically. And then the Windows 8 Pro, which will be a full-fledged computer with tablet-capable features. So you can use the Metro or Modern UI, whatever they're going to call it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they can use the Modern UI. They can, um, but you can also use the desktop version as well on the Windows 8 Professional. But yeah, I, I really, um, I mean, I, like I said, in initial in a video that I uh, did a long time ago, I really did not see Microsoft selling that tablet for $200. It would have been a dream, and I would have bought it in a heartbeat. $200, even $300. If it costs any more than that, that's going to be a little bit beyond my budget. Um, I may have to wait an extra month or so to get it. But, um, yeah, yeah. Um, the price of the Windows 8 RT Microsoft Surface still hasn't been announced, but Steve Ballmer uh, alluded to the fact that it's going to cost in comparison to other uh, competition um, tablets out there. So I really think Microsoft was forced. They were forced to work with the other OEMs and not try to outsell their OEMs. Uh, what I might have to do if a uh, Windows 8 RT tablet made by another manufacturer comes out, I may have to get that because I just want a tablet. I already got a laptop. I'm going to get, um, sometime in the future, I want to get a really super fast desktop. Um, I don't need my tablet to be that way. I just want a tablet that's Windows, uh, that has Windows on it. And um, I really think that will work for me. I gotta get back in, my break is over. This is not an I log, this will be part of my B log for this week.